Chuck Fresh, the PCGYN. This is Computer Care Clinic's tip of the day. We've got this beautiful little Dell Inspiron. Uh, let me check the number on this. It's a 15R 5221 series. Nice little laptop, 15.6 inch screen with a touch screen assembly. However, when you turn it on, as a lot of other people have been reporting on several boards on the internet, the screen turns on, flickers, and it's on. It's definitely getting some power, but you get a black screen and nothing ever comes up. Common problem with this particular model, and it is repairable. It's not the end of the world. However, I'm going to tell you the best way to get this problem resolved. First thing you can do, um, you can back up your data if you need to do that. If you haven't done that, you should be doing stuff like backing up every day. And uh, look at our backup videos for quick and easy and dirty tips on backing up. And uh, subscribe for all those other videos, too. But um, what we're going to do here is we're going to take a HDMI cable and plug it into an HDMI screen. Because once the thing's completely booted up, it will give us a display on an HDMI monitor. So as you can see, the computer is working. The LCD is lighting up, which is really strange. And I don't know if the touch screen... Actually, the touch screen interface does work. Did you see that? I actually saw a mouse on here. That was kind of cool. But um, the problem's not the touchscreen. I believe it's the LCD or the cable here. And the problem is that it is very costly to repair this thing. Not from a, a, a price standpoint, but from a time standpoint. It's going to take you an hour to two hours to rip this thing apart and put it back together. The part itself, you can get it for as little as 60 70 bucks for the LCD screen, sometimes even cheaper. Um, your workaround is you can connect it to an LCD with an HDMI cord while you're waiting for the part to come in if you decide to do it yourself. Or what you can do, and most computer shops are going to cost, you're going to charge you probably about... At least $150 to maybe $250 parts and labor, just to the amount of time that rip this thing apart, because the whole top assembly has to come apart because there's a touchscreen interface. This glass piece here is actually the touchscreen. There's a couple cables that run through here. In the old days, you could just pop the whole thing off, but now that's not possible with these touchscreen monitors. So to replace the LCD, you've got a bunch of money and time wrapped up into it. Or what you can do is Dell offers this really neat thing called the Extended Warranty Program. Once once your real warranty is up, Dell offers a $149 deal on this particular laptop that will cover anything that happens from one year to after the time you purchased that extended warranty. And they don't care if you're already out of warranty, which is amazing. So I don't know how long they're going to keep doing this, but definitely take advantage of it. So for $149, they will send a technician out to you, replace the LCD screen and the touch screen or the whole unit if completely necessary. And they'll replace everything else that is not accident related. So if your hard drive takes a crap within that year, they'll replace that. If your keyboard stops working, they'll replace that. If your motherboard dies, they'll replace that too. So not only to get your screen fixed, but you have the benefit of getting everything else covered by that extended warranty also. And for 149 bucks, it's probably about the same cost or less than your local computer guy is going to charge you to replace that LCD screen. So Dell Extended Warranty. You can uh, look it up on Dell.com. Type in your service tag. It'll give you all the information there about when your warranty expired. Of course, if your computer is under warranty, that is a covered repair and there's no additional charge for that. But this one's just slightly out of warranty. So get that Dell Extended Warranty even after your warranty expires. Chuck Fresh, the PCGYN. This is Computer Care Clinic's tip of the day.